Yo, what's going on, people? We're back right now, yeah. Tipsy Talk, Wavy Wednesday, Champagne, the conversation, Bant before beds. Again, don't forget TGM Radio, all social media platforms. Your host, Drunkle J. And, uh, well, it's Jamaica's Independence Day coming up this weekend, so I thought, who else to have on the show, in it? Clarendon's first. Li- <laughs> We've got the, ra- <laughs> the rain. We started already. <laughs> How you feeling, miss? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, that's cool. I appreciate your coming on time. Yes. Because I had a few bad experiences with a few Jamaican people, so I appreciate mm-hmm. that to come in as well. Thank you. So how you been there, Miss Sun? I'm good, thank you. How's this London weather treating you? Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> it's lovely. I'm loving it. Okay then. Let's get a little backstory then. So mm-hmm. what is that you do you do? Because you do everything. Yes, I'm into everything. <laughs> 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 I am into everything. I'm uh I'm a cosmetologist. I'm a hairdresser, professional hairdresser. Mm. I I do lashes as well. Mm. I do a bit of event planning. Mm. Um, I'm into the music videos, you know, what they call them, the vixen. Video vixen, okay. Yes. I'm a host, and I also do a little acting as well. Okay, then. So let's go a little backstory then. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing you're from Clarendon. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Born and raised in Maple and Clarendon. Okay, I'm not Jamaican, I'm Guyanese, by the way. Okay. So I don't know too much about Clarendon. So what's Clarendon like then? Uh, well, Clarendon, they would say, like, it's a country part of Jamaica. Mm. But um, it's more developed now. Okay. Yeah, we've got, like, uh, no, I don't know if you've ever heard about Salt River. Mm-mm. Well, we've got Salt River, which a lot of people go there to, you know, wash off them sins. <laughs> okay, then. So sinful people go there to be... <laughs> To get healed then? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I definitely go there. Yeah, if you've got even pain, they say it's good to go there, wash off and, you know, slap yourself with the water. Do you believe in that though? No, no. Okay then. So only child then? Pardon? Only child? If I'm the only child? child yeah. No, actually, um, there is 16 of us. 16? Yes. I've got um, four brothers. Mm-hmm. And eleven sisters. Yeah, your dad's not playing about. No. Hey, so your Christmas time must be live then. Not really, you know, because um, different mothers. So. Oh, you know, okay. All over the world. Okay then. So, how was it finding yourself trying to stand out in with all them siblings? Act, um, actually, I only grew up with two siblings. Okay. So, what was going to school in Jamaica like then? Oh, it, it was really fun. High school was the best for me. Why is that? Because um, in high school, I was more popular, and um, I was like the beauty queen in the school. Okay, why was you popular then? What was, uh, what was the reason for you being popular? Because I was so active, and I was involved in everything. I was pom-pom girl. I was I played netball. Wait, wait, myself. pom-pom girl? Yeah, you know like when you have sports day at school? Yeah. I was the, the cheerleader. Then. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. No, because we got some white fans that didn't know I that. I danced for my school. I played netball for my school. I um, I won Miss Lennon when I was in third form. Lennon. You know, like the beauty queen. Oh, okay. You know, the mother. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. Yeah. So I was re- I was really popular. Okay then. Okay. Not to be the stereotype, but are you fast at running? Pardon? Are you fast at running? Oh no. <laughs> I have to save my life. <laughs> I just have to put out it because in the Olympics, that's why, isn't it? Oh no, no, I can't run to say. One year, let me give you a joke. One year, I um, it was a sports day. Mm. I was a pom pom girl, and they wanted someone to fill in for a relay, and I was like the one to finish the relay, mm. and I was running and I was pushing and I was felt like yes, I was there, and I only hear on the mic. Last but not least, <laughs> Miss Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was this 100 meters? Um, it was a four, yeah, four. It was a relay. Oh, the relay. Oh, the relay. Yeah, okay. Relay, yeah. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. It for happens, whole, man. For the whole um, week, everyone. Last but not least, Miss Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Again, I've got a lot of Jamaican friends, and I just want to. In Clarendon, is there a lot of Chinese people there as well? You've got everybody in Clary. In, in, yeah, you've got a mixture. You've got the Africans. You've okay. got Chinese. Yeah, a lot of Chinese business on business business in Jamaica. Okay, how's Jamaica now after the lockdown we lifted? Still on? <sighs> well, to be honest, um, I don't really know. You know, I don't really know what it's like down there. But I heard that 
um, people are still, you know, hiding and keeping their party, like, in the ghetto area. <laughs> <laughs> in the ghetto area. Nine so, nights. Yeah. Okay. So, what made you come to England then? Um, my dad. Okay. Yeah, my dad lived in, in, is in the UK. So, um, I just felt like, you know, I wanted to be where my dad is because my dad is the person that raised me. Do you remember, what, your first day in England? My first day... Mm, yeah, I remember my first day when I when I land. It was like about four o'clock, and it was dark. And I was like, "It's four o'clock. Why is it so dark?" Because <laughs> I came up like Winter in time. November. Okay. Yeah. Well, how old were you? Don't remember. How old were you when you came? When I came, it was in two thousand. So I was um, how old was I again? <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some calculation. I, I was I was maybe about. Um, 1920. Okay. Yeah. So you went college in England or you didn't go to college? Yeah, I did go to college. I studied fashion design in at Walton Stowe College. Okay then. Yeah. And what was the culture shock like going to college in UK? Uh, it was a bit different, you know, because, you know, you got so many different ages, mm. you know, in one class, different races. So it was a bit different, but it was all right. Do you remember the first UK dance hall event you went to? Mm. No, I don't really remember the first one, you know. Yeah, is there a difference between the UK party and a Jamaican party then? Yes, it is different. What's the difference? In Jamaica, it's just it's just nicer because everybody's partying, you know, most of the parties are like outdoors, yeah. not in clubs and stuff like that, so the atmosphere is good. Mm -hmm. You know, people, you just see everybody just dancing and enjoying themselves. Okay, because again, I used to go to Jamaica, I still, no, I still go to Jamaica parties, but again, some parties I go to, no one dances. Everyone's just by the wall, standing around, mm. looking at each other, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess maybe that's like the, the hype parties. <laughs> you know? In, in, in Maypen, where you got the... You know, everybody's partying and enjoying themselves. Mm. So how do you get into hosting then? Okay. Well, with the hosting now, it was all in the lockdown. <laughs> 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 it's all in the lockdown. I'm in my house and I'm bored. Okay. And I was like... What can I do to entertain myself? You know, so um, you know they have the when they have the the, the selectors playing. Everybody was on live playing music. Mm. So a friend of mine, um, DJ Juvenile, he was having like a kind of clash thing, mm. and I said to him, "Can I come and host?" And he said, "Yeah, come." And that's how I started. Okay, so how long would you say you've been hosting for then? Like not long, as I said, it's just since the lockdown. So it's it's um uh gosh, a few months now. Okay, I see the perks of hosting because you get popular, your name's on flies and stuff like that. So what's mm. the negative things about hosting? The negative thing, um, I don't I don't see anything negative. There's about nothing it. negative, no. No. Okay, you never been to hosted an event and the event was poor or rubbish or not organized. Oh, you mean like that? Yeah. Um, no, the only thing that happened was, um, okay, one of the first, the second, sorry, the second um, show that I hosted, I just had like a few hours to prepare and I did not remember the artist's name. <laughs> <laughs> so, my pronunciation, and because I have Listong, I mm. was pronouncing their, their names off, really. So, that had me away, you know, and people were like commenting on the on the show with some negative comments so I was blaming the drinks in it that's what I was done pardon blaming the alcohol blame the alcohol <laughs> yeah <that's> just, <laughs> blame the magnum yeah hundred <laughs> percent but you know I bounced right back okay so what's the plans for the rest of the summer then well hopefully um well I hopefully I'm I'm just hoping that like all the places open like there'll be more shows and then I'll get some more bookings mm. Yeah, but for now, I'm just partying and enjoying myself, and I'm also um, having in a barbecue for myself as well. When's this barbecue? Um, it's going to be on the 29th of August, and it's called Cut Up, Cut Up. So oh. you come, you know, you have your jeans, you just put two cut in it and roll. Wait, even the guys have to do that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's cold. It, no, it's not cold. We're going to have a long summer, you know. Wait, watch. 29th, okay, because that should have been carnival, but there's no mm -hmm. carnival, so everyone's come to your event then. Yeah. And whereabouts is this event? Um, well, I'm trying to organize a venue, so closer oh, to the date. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. With the headphone part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know it's a lot about that. But you know what? It's what's making the money. So I hear that. Work with it. Because to be honest, if you're going to keep an event right now and you're going to charge to come in, nobody's not really want to pay. But when they have to buy the headphone to hear the music, they will pay the 20 pounds for an headphone. No, I don't mind paying. I understand that. But the only thing is, me, if I want to go to an event, I want to talk to girls, isn't it? I want to interact. I can't talk to girls because they've got headphones on, innit? <laughs> <laughs> see, <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I get that. It's the only thing, but no, it's calm. Also, you did a video, well, you did a picture of my friend's video, Ricardo. Yes, I did. Yeah. How long have you been video vixen then? Okay, with Ricardo's video, that's one of the first um, video that I did. It was, um, it was actually before Christmas, was it? Mm. Yeah, I think it was, it was, yeah, we was booked for before Christmas, but then it had to cancel because of the whole lockdown. So I think we did it in, in January. Okay. So what happened is that he asked me to do a little decor for him. Mm. And he was like, I need a few backup, um, you know, like, you know, we were doing like a party scene. So I just want a few people in the back, like they're partying. And I said, no problem, because I have to wait anyway to bring back my, my, my decor. So I'll, 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 I'll stand in. So when I went and I changed and I put on my outfit and I came out, <laughs> Walking trophy. I, I went from being in the back to mm-hmm. one of the main girls. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. so who was the main girl first then? Um, They booked a girl with from an agency. I don't know her. But then she went to the back? No, no, no. It was both of us. Oh, okay. Of us. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding it. So that's how it started. So from doing the first video with Ricardo, he he um, booked me again for another video. Mm. Other artists see my work and liked it and started to book me as well. So what do you enjoy most, hosting or the video? I enjoy the videos, to be honest, and I, I, I like the one-on-one. You see the, the video with um, Ricardo, um, Wine Planet, mm. because I'm performing by myself, that video is really one of my favorite video because I get to show my talent in that uh, video. So yeah, I, pr- I prefer the videos more than the hosting. Okay then. You do hair, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's a very touchy subject for guys, isn't it? Because girls always ask guys, how does my hair look? Mm-hmm. And it's a very tricky answer because we want to say how we really feel, but if we say that we have to say what we don't really feel, isn't it? Yeah, but with me, I would want my partner to be honest. So I know if I said, babe, how my hair is, and he says, it don't look good, I know to go fix it up. I don't want you to tell me, oh, it looks really nice, knowing that it's not perfect. And then when I go out now, people are going to be like, oh, you don't look good or whatever. So it better you tell me. So you spent three hours on your hair, and, no, and I, I say your hair doesn't look nice. Hours on my hair. <laughs> no, no, I spent this just take me like an hour to do. Oh, no, I'm just hypothetically speaking, isn't it? You spent, oh, uh, you oh, spent oh, yeah, yeah, you spent three hours on your hair. You mm-hmm. Say to your guy, how does my hair look? Mm-hmm. He said he doesn't like it. You mm-hmm. st- you don't you don't feel away. Yeah, I'm gonna feel away, of course. But then, as I said, I want you to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I want you to be honest and tell me the truth. Okay then, I hate it. Have you ever been bald before? If I've ever been what, sorry? Have you shaved your head before? No. Okay then. No. I had to cut it low, but I've never really balled it. But I, I, I bleached it in blonde. It got damaged, so I had to cut it real short. Mm. Yeah. Okay then, I hear that. As you know, the Olympics is going on right now. Mm-hmm. Jamaica's doing alright. Yeah, they are. To be honest, I don't really watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really got the time. Okay. Yeah, but I, I, I do see people putting up pictures and clips of them on Instagram, and I see that they're doing very well. So from Clarendon, who's famous from Clarendon then? Um, from Clarendon, you've got um, artists that are famous. You've got, um, I think the, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think one of the um, girls that entered Miss Jamaica and one, I think they're from Clarendon. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think one of the Miss Jamaicas is from Clarendon. Mm. But you've got Merciless from Clarendon. You've got um, I'm, I, um, I Attain. You know I the think. artist? What song does he sing again? He sings... Um, oh, God, there's so much. <laughs> <laughs> he has a new song that's out with the, um, um, like he's saying, if the man I give you money, next, next. I think so. Yeah, and he's got that um, comedian that's talking a lot in the video. I think so. Yeah. I'm tipsy right now, so my oh, head's... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, you've got um, Cockatees from Clarendon. 
Um, you got a, quite a few lot of artists that's from Clarendon. Mm. Yeah. Um, assailant. You know assailant. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flip. Miss, I'm so tipsy right now. But I just want to know a quick question. Um, in terms of music, mm -hmm. do you ever think UK dance who could ever be number one? Mm. UK dance are good. I don't know. Why is that? Mm, to be honest, um, how should I put this now? I don't think we really um, put our hundred into it. You know, we don't go all out like the Americans. Mm. Yeah, I think like um, the the people behind the scene, you know, the producers and all the directors and all of that, or the managers or what. I think they 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 you know they they put more into it than the the UK. Um, Hmm. Supporting team. Okay, then I hear that. No, I'm just curious in it because again, I do like the Stalo G movement. Yeah, Stalo G is doing good. I think he's doing good. I think. Yeah, he's doing good. At least your Harley's doing alright as well. I don't know. Who <laughs> <that is. laughs> okay. <laughs> again, Carnival's not happening again this year. Yeah. Do you feel a type of way about that or? Oh yes, I do because um, I work at the carnival sometimes. You know. Doing what? Yeah. On a stall, selling food. Okay. Yeah, I've got a friend that he rents the stall. Mm. So I would go and help him to, to sell food. So that's a little pocket change we're going down the drain right there. So. Yeah, but you don't enjoy the carnival moment though. No, I don't. I don't. To be honest, I the first year I went to carnival, it was just too crowded. I don't really like crowd like that. You host events, miss. I know, but I'm not <laughs> in the crowd. Okay. I, when it's all packed, even like football matches and them stuff, I don't really enjoy them. It's too too crowded. Okay. Yeah. So my first experience for the carnival, it really put me off because it was so crowded. We had to be packed on the train to get home, and I tell yeah, myself yeah, I'm not yeah, doing yeah, this yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Yeah. So did you enjoy the virtual carnival then? Pardon? The virtual carnival. I I think so. Maybe yeah. Okay then. Do you know what Jam Juve is? Pardon? Jam Juve. No. You know what that is? No. It's like a soccer event where them in the pot, but they throw paint at each other and oh, soca in that. Oh, yes. I, I saw a preview of that, yeah. Do you like soccer? Um, yes, <laughs> I do. I do. I do like soccer, but I prefer <laughs> reggae music more. Reggae? Then dance all? Yeah. Why is that? Maybe it's because it's my culture, you know? That's what I was what I was brought up into. So I love, I love reggae music. Okay, I hear that. Again, have you ever gone through a stage where you've gone through some body insecurity? If I've ever what sorry gone through body insecurity, body security. Yeah, insecurity. Yeah, like your body. Oh yes, mm, my arms. I don't like my arms. They're so huge. That's it. Seriously. Yeah, my arms. I hate them so you can't much. Well, show you when your arms. Your arms are right. Because the tattoo. No, I like the tattoo. That's it's right. It's huge. I sometimes I just wish I could take a knife and cut people off. <laughs> home. No man. And no matter how much I lose the weight, it's like it's just not going. It's calm. No one really looks at arms, though, innit? Guys don't look at arms. Yeah, I don't like them. Mm -mm. So that's the only thing you don't like with your arms? That's the only thing, yeah, my arms. So what features do you like of yourself, then? Like, what's your best feature, would you say? My best feature, I think, is my lips, you know? I got the little small. Because <laughs> I see you work out, that's as good? Yes, I do. No surgery? Yes. Oh, yeah, surgery? I had, yes. Ten years ago, I did my breasts. Okay. And um, it's more than ten years, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's more than 10 years I did my breasts and I did my tummy after I had my son. He's five years old now, so four years ago I had a tummy tuck. Okay, then. Are you, would you do it again or you're done with surgery? Well, I, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't want to, but if I have to, I would. I think I'm going to redo my breasts though because they're getting a little hanging. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Are you vaccinated? Pardon? Are you vaccinated? No. Okay. Have you no consideration about it at all? I, I booked it, you know, to do it. And my friend, when she don't talk to me, <laughs> I, I did not turn up for that. Well, what did your friend say? <laughs> she was like, they're putting the, 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 the disease in your body and, you know, it can cause you not to have no more kids. And it, there's a lot of side effects and stuff like that. So mm. she said, if, if you don't really have to do it, don't do it. And more than one um, people gave me the advice, so I said, you know what, I'm not gonna do it right now. If I have to, I will. Mm. 
So how was your mentality during the lockdown? Was you okay? I don't know, was you stressed out? To be honest, I love in my house, you know? So <laughs> the lockdown, it really, it didn't really bother me that much because I'm a person who, I, I'm a homely person. I love in my house. If I don't have to go on the road, I don't go on my house. I don't leave my house. Mm. I'm comfortable in my house. And to be honest, the lockdown has been good for me in some ways because if it wasn't for the lockdown, I wouldn't be in music videos, I wouldn't be hosting. Mm. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving lockdown a two thumbs up for me. Quick question, because I had this debate with my friends, yeah. I don't know if you're with your child's father or not. Mm -hmm. Are you with your child's father or not? No. Not? no. Okay, obviously your child is going to go with his father, isn't it? Yeah, like has time to spend time with him, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you curious of what his partner does for a profession? I don't even know my 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 baby father's partner because okay I don't know. Okay, because me personally, I always feel a type of way because things safety just does only fans, isn't it? I don't really want my seed seen that every single day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, get, I get what you're saying. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would have a problem, to be honest. Yeah, it depends on the type of job that that person does. Yeah, obviously. But um, my my baby father, he's kind of, um, he's different. I don't think he, he would go for someone who is in that field. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, then. And also as well, which is easier to raise, boys or girls? Girls for me. Why is that? Because... I don't know, I've got two girls and one son. And for me, my, it's just easier. I don't know, maybe because <laughs> I'm a girl. <laughs> I, you know, I, can, I, can, I know how to dress them, I can comb their hair, but with my son, to be honest, um, he's a bit so clingy. Everywhere <laughs> I go, he's behind me. And I, like, I know he's my baby, but I like my space. Mm. And there's times where I just want to be by myself. And, Everywhere I go, he's behind me. Okay, then. And are you big on star signs? Pardon? Star signs. Are you big on star signs? I used to be, but not anymore. Okay. I used to be. Because I just want to know, can you blame someone's characteristics on the star signs? No, no. As I said, I used to believe in it, but I don't anymore. Each each to their own. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. I hear that. I hear that. I'm so tipsy right now. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plans for this weekend, Mum? Where's the party at? Oh, my God. There's so much party on this weekend. I can't manage it. <laughs> I've got three barbecues on Friday, hey. two barbecues on Saturday, and then another birthday party on Sunday. I don't know how I'm going to manage. How much can you eat, miss? Pardon? How much can you eat? No, no, I don't eat when I go there. You don't eat barbecues? No, I just drink. Seriously? Yeah, I drink my... <laughs> yeah. I drink and I party, I dance, and I enjoy myself, and then I go home. Why are you curious at people's cookings? There's yeah, I'm funny with eating. I don't eat from any and anybody. Okay. Why well, you have to watch them cook the food and that or season Not the meat? Not really watch, but I'm just funny. You know, sometimes you for, definitely for barbecues, I'm not just gonna go unless I know who prepared the food, I'll eat. But if I don't, I'm not gonna eat. Are you feeling like that restaurants as well? Um yeah, some restaurants. I'm not gonna eat from any and any restaurant. Okay, I hear that, I hear that, I hear that. So would you say your wild years are past you then? My wild years? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay then. Yeah. Curious. Curious. So what, in terms of music, what else are you feeling at the moment then? Pardon? Who are you feeling at the moment music-wise? Who do you like at the moment? Um, in, in general? Yeah, in general, yeah, in general. Um, worldwide? Yeah, worldwide. I like um, TJ. Little TJ? No, um, top boss, up top boss. Oh, okay, yeah. also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I like up top. I would love to work with up top boss. Mm -hmm. And I like um, what's his name again? Oh my God, what's his name again? That one that um, for him said the play and just learn. <laughs> Stylogy. No, I like Stylogy. Stylogy is good, but I'm just going from Jamaica. Okay. And then I'm gonna touch the U. <laughs> <laughs> I won't leave nobody out. Okay then. Yeah, I like TJ up to us. I love popcorn. Oh my god, I'm so in love with popcorn. Um, mm. I like um. Oh my god, what's the Skilly Bang? Skilly okay. Bang. Yeah, I like Skilly Bang as well. Um, I like Stylogy in the UK, and I also like um, Steph London. 
Okay. Yeah. In the in American life, uh, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Nicki's my girl. I like Cardi B as well. What, Nicki's over Cardi? But Nicki, yeah, Nicki's my girl. Is Nicki over Lil' Kim? Yes. Mm. Seriously? Yep, I love Nicki. Nicki over Lil' Kim. I'm surprised yeah. you said that. And I love Spice as well. Yeah, it's bad yeah. default, you have to, isn't it? I like Sensei as well. Doing well. I'm not really want people to think they're biased enough. <laughs> 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 but I love Spice. I so love no Spice. hood celebrity, no Jada Kingdom? Um... You know, sir, to be honest, I like Jada, some of her songs, but I'm not really into Jada. Okay. Yeah, but I like some of her songs. What about UK Grime or Drill? Do you like that? No. None of, none of it? No, I'm not really, no. Okay, then. <laughs> what, hip-hop, R&B? Yeah, I like hip-hop. I like R&B. Yeah. Are you curious of what music your children listen to then? No, mm -mm, but my kids, they're into the... UK drill and all that <laughs> <laughs> But some of the times when I hear them listening and I hear some things that, that that they're saying, I'm like, oh my God, this type of music is like worse than Jamaican music. <laughs> 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 oh. No, seriously, when you really listen to some of the lyrics, it's, 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 it's crucial. But, mate, one of these drawers, they might ask you to feature in their music video. You know, actually, one did. You know, okay. he, he did message me, but then um, he didn't. He didn't get back to me. And but you know, I wasn't really gonna do the video to be honest, because when I got the message uh. and I asked my daughter, I said, "Do you know this artist?" She <laughs> me in this song, and she was like, "No, mom, please, please, mom, don't go in that video, please." What? My, friends, my friends are going to see you. Uh. <laughs> so, so she's embarrassed. Then. No, so. I, she said, no, mom, please don't go in. She's all right with what I do, but she just doesn't want me to be in her scenery, you know? Oh, but yeah, she's embarrassed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's embarrassed. That's all it is. Or she said, mom, if you even go in there, just stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's rape. But her friends, all of our friends are crazy about me. Is it? You know, yeah. Our friends love me. Miss and Popular. They, they were like, oh my God, I wish it was my mom, but she's just different. So you done with kids or you want more then? <clears throat> I did said that I wanted one more son, but you know, um, you know, when if when I get married, I'll, I'll give my husband a son, but so oh my little son is so clingy. <laughs> may I, may I, may I, mm -mm, I'm not on 200 right now. So marriage, you really want marriage, miss? Oh yes, I want to. I want to marry and settle down and have my house and you know. I'm scared of marriage, man. You are it's very no, scared. I want to. I want to get married, have a family life. So how would you down. want your future husband to propose to you then? How would I want him to propose to me? Oh my God, I don't know. I like the fact that they would put it in a cupcake and you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you just bypass up the <laughs> Yeah. When you swallow the cup, you see. When you swallow the ring, you see. No, no, no. You won't swallow because I ain't going to take a big bite, you know? Because you, you know us girls and we're eating in my life. <laughs> yeah. We take little bites. Uh, I miss you. On a realistic scale, because you got three kids now, innit? Yes, I do. Your guy, how much kids would he, you want from me that he has then? Pardon? How much kids can he have then already? Oh, my, that person. Future husband, gonna, yeah. You know, to be honest, I always tell myself that I don't want to have a partner who have more than six kids. Six? Yeah, enough to have more than six. Because right, if right. I have six and me have three and whether I have one more, that's a ten, that's yeah, enough. Yeah, Jackson family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of them's guaranteed to be a millionaire, isn't it? Pardon? One of them's guaranteed to be a millionaire. <sighs> Little Michael, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so what? Realistically, how much kids would you want your other partner to have already, isn't it? Because everyone's got kids these days, isn't it? No, that's what I said. I always tell myself I don't want to be with someone who have more than six kids. Okay. So if he says five, it's not a red flag, then? Pardon? If he says five, it's not a red flag. As long as it's not over six, okay. it's fine. Okay, I hear that, I hear that. You into fat guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking, isn't it? The reason why I say that, yeah, because when I put your video up mm -hmm. on my socials, isn't it? Yeah. All my fat friends start responding, isn't oh it? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. 
So I'm just want to know, when you put out to the universe, that's what might be attracted to you, isn't it? All right, let me put it this way. I like tall, dark, ugly men. Ugly? Yeah. But I don't want my man to be cute. I like ugly man. But your ugly might be someone's cute, so you have to define ugliness. Well, Everybody, yeah, it's kind of true still because sometimes I start dating some ugly man and all of a sudden them just look cute. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> but yeah, I like tall. I like looking up. I don't like short men. So even if he's got a little body and he's tall, that's that's cool. I just don't like short. I know I'm not supposed to be looking straight. I'm supposed to be looking up. Okay, Miss, how tall are you then? I mean, you might have to stand up because people. I'm five five six. Five six. Okay, yeah. that's calm. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Cool, dark, and so it doesn't matter if he's Caribbean or African then? No, it doesn't matter. But he has to be dark? Yeah, I don't like brown men, no. I'm already brown. I want a dark chocolate, you know? Yeah, when I stand up, I'm supposed to say something black. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. But your soulmate could be Polish. Pardon? Your soulmate could be Polish. You don't know. As I said, I'm not, maybe I'm not going to go there because I don't like brown men. I don't go for brown men. Okay. Oh, I hear that. I hear that. Does he have to be good at dancing? No. Mm-mm. I'm okay. a good dancer, so I can't teach him all if I'm not good. <laughs> yeah. No, because again, you go to loads of these events, innit? And mm-hmm. you might be good at dancing. No, no, no. Me st- him stand up one place, me dance. Him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Occupation. Mm-hmm. Is that a big factor for you? Yeah. I don't want a man that doesn't have a, a, a proper job. Okay, then define proper. he has to be bringing in the figures okay he can bring the figures but not have a proper job no no I want him to have a proper job because okay then let me put this this way suit and tie or work boots that are dusty it doesn't really matter as long as he's bringing in the figures okay I hear that I hear that okay what if he does music um, okay, so because I am in this field right now, mm. I, I wouldn't date someone who's into in the music. Seriously? No. no. Why is that? Because he'd be more understanding, though. No. Mm. I don't think it would work, to be honest. No. Mm. No. I want someone who is not in the same field as me. Okay, now I hear that. So what's your goal for the end of the year, then? Pardon? The end of the year, what's your goal? My goal? Um... I just want out to um to have my own business. Is yeah. it the hair or is it the No, I'm I'm I do events, so event planning. Okay. Yeah. No, the hairdressing was like really from back home. Okay, okay, okay. And then when I came to UK I started <coughs> I did it for a little bit, but then mm. I stopped. So I don't really do hairdressing right now. I just do my own hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have this debate with my friend, yeah, the with the, the best Jamaican film of all time. Mm-hmm. What would you say the best Jamaican film is? Um, I don't know the name of it. To be honest, I would if I see it, then I would, I would, I would, um, I can recall. But I don't remember the name of the the, the film. But I think it's the one that have um, Jimmy Cliff in it. Dance or Queen. No, it's not Dance or Queen. Third World Cup. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not. I'm not gonna remember huh? the name. How do they come? How do they come? Uh, yes, the harder they come. What's that? The harder they come. What is that? that? <laughs> What's that about? It's um. <laughs> <laughs> was it porn? It, 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 it was good, but I don't remember. Wait, is it porn? It, pardon? Is it porn? No, it's not porn. Oh, because it has the name. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just asking. I don't know. <laughs> No, 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 no. No, 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 it's not boring. Because me personally, I think the best Jamaican film of all time is Cool Runnings, isn't it? It's Cool Runnings. Yeah. Yeah, Cool cool Runnings is a good one as well. Even though the actor's not Jamaican, but I still think it's the best Jamaican film of all time. No. Because it's it's based on it's based on a true story. Yeah, it is based on a on a true story, but the fact that, you know, that um the main um character You know, Jamaican. Yeah. So I wouldn't, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't give that for the best. Okay, then. I just want to know a quick question also as well. What's your definition of a queen? A queen? 
Yeah, because I go back and forth with females every single day about this, isn't it? Is it like the queen in the dance hall? No, just a queen in general. Because every girl, every woman thinks, every girl or woman thinks they're a queen in general, isn't it? And I always say that you're not, isn't it? Mm. And they say why, and I give my opinion, and they just go off on me, isn't it? Definition of a queen is because you're a female, you're the queen, and you're the male, so you're the king. So I think that yeah, every woman is a queen in their own way. So the prostitute in the streets are queen then. Yes, there are queens as well. They're the queen of the prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying, isn't it? See? <laughs> See, I can't say every single woman is a queen, isn't it? No. Yes, they are in their own way. How? In their own Yeah, they are. They are. Everyone is their, their queen. Because I said, you have the king and you have the queen. So every man is a king, every woman is a queen. So a woman that abducts little kids is a queen? <laughs> Yeah, I've got deep. <laughs> no, see, that's what I'm saying. We have to have these conversations. Don't we have to break this down, isn't it? <laughs> well, maybe we wouldn't call them a queen, but they're, as I said, you know, they're still a queen. But we wouldn't classify them as a queen. Okay, then. Have you gone through any, like, mental illness yourself? Me? Yeah, mental, any no. depression or anything like that? Well, um... I think I went in... It's not depression, but, like, panic attack, because, um... My car was stolen. Serious? Yeah, someone, a guy took me out of my car. I don't know if it was a gun or a knife he had. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was this in London? Yes, uh-huh. Wait, this year? It, it was um, two years ago. Miss, we need some context. So I, I was parking my car. And what area was this? If you don't mind in Enfield. Okay. I was, I was coming from a party, yeah. And he took me out of my car. And, um, yeah, after that, I just got so scared. I started having panic attack in the night whenever I see a black guy with a hoodie on. Yeah. Was he ever caught? Pardon? Was he ever caught? No. And the car was ever recovered? Yeah, yeah, I got back my car. Okay. My car was just parked up in a parking um, area for, 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 for months, not driving. Everything was still in it. After an incident, does that... Put a scar on your, like, your faith in men, then, or black men? Yeah, mm-hmm. So how did you overcome that, then, then? You know, I just say to myself that, you know what, I'm alive, I'm well. You know, I have to give God thanks. So I just, each day I just got over it. After incident, so again, sorry, I know this is very traumatic, but I just want to know, do you operate differently, then, in terms of when you leave a party now? If I what, sorry? Do you operate differently? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. I, I make sure that I check my surroundings. My door is always locked, you know. Yeah, whenever I'm, 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 I'm aware of my surroundings when I'm on my way home. Because the reason I put on carrying this on, because again, you see, as you go to events, there's a lot of younger girls that go to these events thinking mm -hmm. they're grown, isn't it? Yeah. I just want to know what's your advice that you give to them. Mm -hmm. I would just tell them to, you know, just have, um, keep their eye open, check whenever they're leaving a party, check their surroundings, they're being followed. You know, if there's anything um, suspicious, to just get on the phone with a friend because, you know, you can never be too safe. And try not to be, go um, leave a party by yourself. Always have company. Hmm. Have you been in a situation where a guy just can't take a note? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I always want to see it from a girl's perspective, isn't it? Because me, I could take nose every single day, and I get nose every single day, but I just move on, isn't it? It's like breathing. Like I had to like block from my, my Instagram. I have to block this guy. He's just all up in my DM. And <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not really into. You know, I'm I'm taken. He's just every day messaging me. He's even calling my phone, video calling me, nigga, please. <laughs> I never tell you you can't call me. <laughs> I understand it, but also at like, at like an event kind of thing. Like, is there a guy that's always just keep coming up to you and everything like this? Uh, when uh, you, like, how do you get rid of those guys? Or does that happen to you? <laughs> 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 well, right now, to be honest, me have a style, you know. <laughs> and again, if I got talk now, then I got no more style. <laughs> me have a style. When them come up to me, just say, I'm not into men, I'm into girls. That's what my friend does as well. Yeah, she does that same I just, thing. I <laughs> <laughs> and on the flip side yeah an event if you like a guy do you approach him or do you wait for him to come to you mm, no I've never no I've never approached a guy if I, I've, seen, I've seen guys and like them but I've never approached them mm. no I think once I walk past 
and kind of bounce, you know? Feel my little bounce and my little eye and gone. Yeah. <laughs> That's your technique then? Mm. Okay. Another thing as well, you come trying to, I mean, this happens to me daily. No, not daily, but every time I go to events. If you're dancing and a guy comes behind you, yeah, do you look behind to see who it is or do you look at your friend to see if. No, for me, I step out, look behind. <laughs> <laughs> The high when we give him know what time it is. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been in a situation where you, you don't look back and you carry on dancing, you look back, you, oh my gosh. No, no, I always look back. Oh, okay, then. I always, yeah. Okay, okay. Good. Oh, I'm curious, just curious. I but stop same time. Is it? Back. And yeah. embarrassing me for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you don't just come up behind me like that. No. <laughs> Do you watch Love Island? No. You, know, you are familiar with it though, isn't it? I know what it is, yeah, but I, I don't watch it. Would you ever go on it? If I would go on yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I would. No, I think it would be fun to see a Yardie girl in your Love Island. I, 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 I said that as well, you know. I said <laughs> it would be really good to see a Jamaican girl on this show. But would you act yourself, though, or would you just play up to please the white audience? No, no, I'll, I'll be myself. Okay. No then. matter where I am, I'm, I'm always myself, 100%. The reason why I say that, because yeah, you said you don't like Caucasian guys, isn't it? And majority of them are Caucasian guys, isn't it? No, I'd be myself. I would be myself. Okay, then. It's not like I wouldn't be friendly and talk to them, but, you know. Mm. Yeah, I would be friendly and I would talk to them and all of that, but. Okay, you say you do acting. What, other, what acting have you appeared in, then? Um, well, my first role was in, um, it's called Badness 3. It hasn't been out, released as yet. I okay. did that, like, about, um, I think it was about uh, four years ago. Okay. And then um, I did Essence Part 3. Wait, Badness? Who's in Badness then? Or? Badness, um, Danny Bless is in it, and um, um, uh, Audrey, Audrey White. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, why is it not being released then? Or I don't know, you know, I have no idea. Okay. Yeah. And then but I've been in, in Essence 3, that one was released um, last year. Was it last year or year before? And who's in Essence again? Um, Ashley Chin yeah, and Ashley. Buck, yeah, and also um, Audrey is in it as well. What role did you play? I was a Jamaican girl who sells clothes. <laughs> yeah. You know when you're in the shops or in you know you the girls that comes in and sell clothes. Mm. Yeah, I played um, Petal. Okay. Yeah. How did that come about then? Okay, so um, from the first movie. Um, role that I played in mm. um, Badness 3. It was my brother Danny Bless. He was a part of it and he um, invited me if I wanted to come along. When I was on set, I met Audrey mm. and we shared our Instagram. So when he was doing Essence, he messaged me and asked me if I wanted to, to take a part in Essence 3 and I said, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So when's Essence 4 coming out? It's out already. So how Essence is there? Yeah, Essence 3 is out already. Well, Essence 4. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they've, they've, they've started shooting or anything. Mm. But hopefully, they will. In terms of acting, is there any roles that you wouldn't play then? Any roles that I will not play? Yeah. Um, I don't think I would play a role as a post prostitute. Okay. No. I, hear that. I would love to be a bad girl. <laughs> 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 Why though? <laughs> yeah, I've always, you know, fantasize on myself. You know, just you know, have some too big gun, just uh, <laughs> shoot up some man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so in terms of film, what films do you like then? I'm, take, I'm guessing action already. Yeah, I like action. I like comedy. Okay. I like um, drama. Is there like an all-time favorite film that you like then? Um, like your one? I like I like Titanic. Why? It's just why it made me why? cry. Why? Because it made it's so touching. And cool. I always have this debate with my white friends about Titanic. I hate the film. I just hate it with passion. Yeah. No, I like Titanic. The band. And I like Bodyguard. No, with we'll, we'll get to Bodyguard. Titanic first year because <laughs> no, 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 I didn't get this on my chest. Didn't. The band was playing as the film was the boat was going down, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What band? What R and B band? Do you know that carry on playing as the boat's coming? Can you imagine like Black Street, Black Street, or Black Street One Twelve going down? I can't imagine that. No way. Well, but you, we're gonna die, might as well. We just want to enjoy ourselves, innit? Second and foremost, he put the girl on the raft, isn't that kind of 
I don't know what it was, the cardboard bullshit in it, yeah? <laughs> Why couldn't they rotate? <laughs> like, I'd gone for like two minutes, you gone for two minutes, bro. No, because he's a gentleman, you know, he's saving the lady. Second and foremost, where's the black people? <laughs> there must have been black people. There must have been black people there. There, yeah, there were, but I guess the black people were the help, in it. But wait, can we see the help at least? <laughs> <laughs> can we get a little guy walking past at least? Uh, I don't know. Overall, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. I watch it like three, it's three hours long. You knew it was gonna happen. Why would you wait three hours for that? Not three hours. I know it was. It's long to be honest. It didn't have to be so long, but I know the best part of the whole film is yeah. I remember them old, the old people they're in the bed and mm -hmm. they're holding each other's hands. But mm -hmm. before they, that's the best part of the whole film. Yeah, that's the best part. That's the only part I liked in the whole film. Apart from the rubbish in it, <laughs> Bodyguard. I've never seen Bodyguard before my life. I'm not going to be honest with yourself. You've never seen never it? Seen Bodyguard, it's really you know. good. I know everyone keeps telling me to watch it, but... No, you should. You should. It's it's really good. Were well, you a big Britney fan? Yes. Yes. Okay. Like, a big, big Britney fan? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, in terms of things, all time, who's your number... Who's your top five? My favourite is Celine Dion. Serious? Yes. Celine Dion is my favourite singer. Apparently, I think she's got black in her or Jamaican something in her. She has a little black in yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, she's got something yeah, in her. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. I love Celine Dion. She's I heard my favourite. I like Celine Dion. I like Whitney Houston. I like Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you laugh? The way you say Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Mariah. Um, should I put male in it as well or just females? Yeah, you can put, yeah all time top five. I like R. Kelly. So do I, but again, it's touchy right now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And um, the fifth would be, oh my God, how did, I, how did I not say Michael Jackson first? That's the one number one. That's the one number one. Michael Jackson, it? yes. In terms of Jamaican artists, yeah. you your top five there. Oh my God, my top five. I'm mean, not really want to say that, you know, because <laughs> to be honest, I would love to work with all the Jamaican artists. So I'm not want to go near my top five and then somebody will see me. I want to work with me and no matter. But again, blame on the drinks, isn't it? That's what we do. Is. All right, let me drink a couple of minutes. <laughs> all right, cool. I haven't really got top five Jamaicans, but yeah. Shaggy's 100% there for me. Yeah. I don't think Shaggy gets the respect he deserves. No, for real. That's I don't know true. what it is. I don't know. I don't know if it's a different generation. I don't know what it is, but Shaggy does not get the respect. But Shaggy's in my top five. He is, yeah. It's true. It's very true. Be honest, Miss Yeah. Between me and you, mm -hmm. is Vibes coming out? Vibes? Yeah, is he coming out? I don't know, and I don't even want to touch that topic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> No, because again, I f oh, this is my theory. I, if Vibes was free, I don't think popcorn would have been as big. And I don't think Afro beats would have been as big. That's just me personally, isn't it? That's just me. That's what I think. That's what I believe in. It. Mm. Yeah, you could be right. You could be right. But everybody's got their, their fans, you know? Everybody's mm. got their fans. And I don't know, but maybe after a while, people would have kind of, you know, get a bit drift away. Mm. You know, that's I think that's the reason why he works with so much artists, different different artists to stay relevant. But he's really good. I like him. You know, his music is all it's 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 very entertaining. What's your stance on bleaching? Oh my god. <laughs> why you haven't put me on the spot? You can take another drink if you want. <laughs> I'm just curious, isn't it? Oh my god. When I went to Jamaica, the first time when I went to Jamaica and I see the people them um, come out in you know, the hoodie and the long socks. I mean, I'm like, what? Miss, what? 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 You know, everybody do what they want to do, but with me personally, if I was black, I wouldn't bleach my skin. Have you ever been accused of bleaching? Yes. You yes. find that offensive? Yeah, then? a lot of people think that I bleach. You find that offensive? No, I don't. I don't because, uh, you know, everybody's doing it, so. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't take it offensive. I just say, no, baby, there's a natural browning. Not to, okay, we're going to get something sensitive right now. Mm -hmm. Again, in terms of mother, Yeah. is that <laughs> traumatizing for yourself? Yes, it is. It's, 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 um, okay, when I was younger, mm. um, it's something that every night I go to my bed, I used to cry about it because my mother left when I was two years old. 
and up until this very day, I've never met her in person. So it was really... Wait, sorry, so do you know who she is, though? Yeah, I've seen pictures of her, and is I've she... spoken to her on the phone. Is but she in I... UK now or Jamaica still? No, no, she lives in Fort Florida. Okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah, growing up, it was really difficult for me because I grew up with a lot of different stepmothers, and I had to be, like, from one family house to another family. So it's really difficult. But now that I'm a mom, you know, I just put it behind me. I know that I'm going to be the best mom that I can be. Did she give her reasons why she made her decision? No, she didn't. I've never, to be honest, I've never really asked her about it because I said I wanted to do it face to face. You know, I wanted to speak to her face to face about it. If you do that face to face, please don't go in like Murray or Jerry Spring or something. Like that. <laughs> that's what we need is another black people do clowns in it. Yeah yeah, 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 that's so true. No, I would want it to be private. Do you think you need therapy? Me? Yeah. Oh my God. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes, because as I said, it's, 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 I don't really like talking about it that much because I'm, I get up so emotional at times and a lot of times I go to my bed and I'm crying because I'm like, oh my God. You know, sometimes I said, if I had a mother, you know, it would be different. At least I could have someone I could talk to. Not even my kids don't know her. So it's, it's, it's really, really difficult. But as I said, I just know that it's life and I'm, you know, dealing with it. Now, the reason why I wanted to bring this up, because again, I've got mommy issues as well. Yeah. And I think this is why I'm attracted to older females, isn't it? Okay. That's why I go for older females. And that's probably why I listen to a lot of Mary J. Blige, mm-hmm. Janet Jackson, all them females as well, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And again, there's a lot of females that are going through the same thing as you're going through, but you seem to be successful from it. Like, yeah. you know, you're doing your hosting thing, you're very mm-hmm. positive, isn't it? Yeah. So I just want to know, to give your advice to the females that are going through the same situation you are, that haven't mm-hmm. got a mother in their life. Like, what would you say to them? I would say to them, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of the hardest things to deal with, but, you know, just do you. Just know that it's life. A lot of us, us are going through it, but you just have to be strong, especially if you've got kids. Just, um, just be happy with your kids. Just make your kids be your strength. Mm. Yeah. In terms of kids, how protective are you? I'm very protective of my kids. So you're on their socials and their, what they're playing on games, what they're watching and everything like that? And yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you judge your children by who they hang around as their friends? No, I would no, I wouldn't judge them by who they hang around because excuse me. Um the reason being is because from past experience with me, mm. back in Jamaica I had a friend that was uh, a stripper. Okay. Yeah. Is she still tripping now? I don't know if she's still stripping now, but a lot of people used to judge me and say, Oh, I'm the same as her and we were we weren't def- we weren't the same. But I didn't see her as that type of person. She getting to know her, she was a really nice person. Mm. Yeah. Stripping in Jamaica, how was that like then for her then? How was that like? How was that like then? Her being a stripper then? Like, was it because of her, did she have family issues then or did she just need the money or was she just looking for validation? She was, yeah, I think she, she, she just needed the money. She just did it for the money, you know? It was easy, quick money. And you was never tempted? Me? Yeah. No, that's something I would never do. Good to never. hear, miss. What about OnlyFans? I thought about it. <laughs> no, seriously, I thought about it. I thought about it. And what were you going to do on your OnlyFans then? No, but I, this, you know, what I, my cousin, one of my cousins, she lives in Canada. She's the first person that sent the, the, um, the link to me. And she was like, you should do this because I have a friend. The same pictures that you post on your um, Instagram, you can get paid for them. Big facts. Yeah, so I looked into it and I said, you know, I would do this. But then I was like, I'm not 100% sure. But for me, I wouldn't go all the way to being nude or anything like that. Don't but I to. would, I would um, post my sexy pictures and my sexy videos. Why not get paid? Because I'm doing it on Instagram for free. No, I mean, I've got no problem with it. It doesn't bother me. Like, I'm not going out with yourself. I just want to, it's your body, your comfortability. It's going yeah. your money, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking... One day your child is going to see that soon, isn't it? But as I said, I wouldn't do anything that's too... Um, Raunchy. Raunchy, yeah. I wouldn't yeah, be yeah. all topless or, you know. Mm. I hear that. No, get how you're getting in it. I'm just curious if you would do OnlyFans or not, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking about it. No, it's, you can still do it. Can, yeah, I am, th- I am thinking about it. I am. Okay. 
Are oh, you signed? Like, do you have a management or anything like that? No, no, no I don't have a management. Do you need the management, and are you happy independent, or? No? Um, I don't think I need a management. No, not right now. Maybe if it gets a bit too much, then mm. I would think about it. Yeah. Okay. Before we go on a break, in terms of dating, mm -hmm. where's the minimum place you got to take you? <laughs> 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 Oh no, I'm just, again, I'm just curious. The minimum place. Yeah. As a first date. As a first. Number one, as a first date, I'm me, I pick the place, you know. Oh, so you have to decide. <laughs> yeah, at first dates, I always pick where to go. Because I'm not going nowhere where I don't know and I'm not comfortable. You know, I'm going somewhere where, I, where, where I'm comfortable, where do I know the area. Do you have like a go-to place where you always go then? Or Pardon? Do you have like a go-to place? No, no, I've just got like certain areas that I go to, but I don't really have a specific place where this is where I go on all my first dates, no. So it's bar, restaurant, activity? Oh, oh, no, no, dinner, yeah. It has to be dinner. Dinner, yeah. It has I to be dinner. Food, you know, I'm a little <laughs> Okay, what cuisine is it then? I love Chinese. So do I, you know? Yeah, Chinese is my favorite. Okay, so what, don't, what cuisine don't you like? I've, I've never had African food. Okay. Never. Okay, I hear that. But I like Chinese. I've had um, Turkish. Turkish school. I've, I've had Italian. I love Italian. Yeah. The spaghetti is cool. Spaghetti is cool. Okay, then I hear that. But before we're gonna break, shout out socials. Where can people find you at? Your social medias. On on Instagram. Yeah. What's your, where? Say it. Oh, on <laughs> um, Karin and Kirby First Lady. Okay. Facebook, Twitter. I don't really do Facebook. I have an account on Facebook, but I don't really use it that much. But so it would definitely be on on Instagram or um, Snapchat. Yeah, that's that, you already know it's bad news from there already. Mm, yeah, we need to talk, but I wouldn't do it over the phone. You know, I would I would do it face to face. Okay. Okay, and is there a way that he can get out of it then, or like once you're done, you're done then? Yeah, they always they always try to you know want to work it out, but I would I, I do give second chances. Oh, so you believe in second chances? Then? Yeah, I do give second chances. But no thirds. Mm -mm, no third. Okay, is it is there any way that a guy could never get second chance? Like, is cheating? And there's no second chance from there, or? As I said, no, no, I always give second chance. No. Um, the only way I wouldn't give a second chance if he's abusive, you know, if he put his hands on me. Oh that's, yeah, hundred percent. That's it. That's it. But yeah, I'm always for, I'm all for second chances. Okay then. In terms of racism, have you experienced that in the UK yourself? If I've ever experienced it. Yeah. Um. No, you know, because a lot of people I don't know, but a lot of people think that I'm half caste. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. The reason why I said that because again. You got a son, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't know if you know what happened with football. Like England lost the Euros, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And a lot of racism came out, isn't it? So I just wonder if you had that talk with your son as yet, or no? Oh, oh yeah, I've, I've I've seen what happened, but um, I uh, you know I've never, I've never, never um. You had a talk with your your daughters then about racism? They are aware of it. Mm. They are aware. You know, it'd be good for you. I think you should get TikTok. I should get TikTok. Yeah. I actually have TikTok. <laughs> I used it once. Your dances, yeah. I think you can blow from TikTok. I use it once and I, I've, it's too much. It's too hard. It takes too much time. That's why you should let your daughter take control. You just do the dances and let your daughter... My daughters, my kids, they have TikTok. Okay. Yeah, they do. But I just can't be bothered. It's too too much. Because the TikToks that I want to do... All right. When I watch their TikTok, I'm like, this is boring. <laughs> You, know, you guys sit down and really want it's boring. The ones that I want to do is the one where you know you change and you come back and you do something and you, you know you imitate somebody. That's okay, the ones then. that I want to do. But just the little videos, I think that's that's just boring. Okay. If someone can't dance, do you tell that person they can't dance? If someone can't dance, do yeah. I tell them? Yeah. Yeah. Like you're stiff, man. Like, like just chill. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and give them a look up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that tattoo, by the way. Can you just show the camera that tattoo? That one there? This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one is the camera? That one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show for you, yeah. 
Yeah, that's a Jamaican flag. I'm a proud Jamaican. Jamaica's always proud. I don't know what it is. Why are Jamaicans so proud? I am proud of my Jamaica, where I'm from. I'm really proud. I've got this theory that rest of men are the funniest people in the world. They are. Is that a rest of men or a Nigerian uncle? <laughs> but I think a rest of man just edges it. Uh, yeah, a rest of man is really, really but I don't know funny. why. They just, I, I just don't find know. Them I don't funny. know either, but they're just so funny for real. I just find them... <laughs> They are, they are. You cannot be around a rasta man and not laugh. laugh. That's what I'm saying. They have to laugh. Do you feel offensive when someone that's not Jamaican born but uses the patois? No, I don't. But what I don't like, mm. you know, is when I walk in the shops and they see me and then the wagwan. <laughs> I hate it so much. Uh, wait, is that from anyone or just like a Jamaican person? No, like from other race. Oh, okay, because they assume that you're. Yeah, I don't like when they do that. I don't like it. And I, when I when I sometimes when I go in, I'm like, not everyone speaks like that. And then when they hear how I speak, then they don't do it anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Okay then. Because again, you hear a lot of it in music. That's why I just want to know your opinions about it. That's why. Yeah. I know. Also, as well, I mean, you're Jamaican born, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Guyanese. Do you class Guyanese as the Caribbean? No. You don't. Okay. No, I'm just asking. No. I'm just asking. Because again, I hear it from, I've heard it from both the different sides. I personally don't class it as Caribbean, mm -hmm. but people do class it as the West Indies and not in it. Oh, okay. That's why, yeah. isn't it? So what's the next holiday, mum? What's the next destination? Uh, oh my God. My my holiday has been cancelled so many times. I just say, uh, you know what, I'm not travelling for the rest of the year. But I really wanted to go to Jamaica December. Mm. But I think I'm going to wait until my birthday. When's that? In February. Uh, I don't know where I'm going yet, but I know definitely I'll be going somewhere. Valentine's Day. Uh, no, my birthday is the 18th of February, but I, I think Valentine's Day is going to fall in it as well because I'm going to go for the half term. Is there a bay out there that's taking you there? Pardon? Is there a bay out there that's taking you there? No, actually, I want to go with my kids. Oh, okay, family yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay, then, okay, I hear that. Okay, no problem. As you I'm know, single. No, for now. <laughs> for now. The reason why I say for now, because winter's coming, isn't it? And no one likes to be single for winter. Really? 100%. Me personally, I don't like being single for winter. Mm -hmm. And so what I do is, I chew with a female because I don't like to buy coats. So it's female just keep me warm, isn't it? So I don't need to buy a coat, isn't it? So, so you're single in the summer and then in the winter you're taken. Precisely. Ah. And also, every girl in the summertime, their number goes up by three. So if a girl is a five in winter time, she's automatically eight in the summertime, isn't it? Because mm. she dresses less. Okay. And she's going to the gym to look good for carnival in the summertime, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's why you don't really settle down with girls in the summertime because every girl is plus, isn't it? it? Might be the same thing as guys as well. I don't know if you know as guys. They probably yeah, the guys they work out a lot for real when it's summer. Do you like gym guys though? The guys with a lot of muscles. Yeah, that. Like. No, I like guys that work out and keep their body in shape. But for like the big muscle guys, no, not my type. What about guys that wear skinny jeans? Um, it depends. I like the skinny jeans, but it's not supposed to be too tight. <laughs> no, I don't like to see men in the... It, it, you know, like, you're fighting for going out of pants. No, yeah, yeah. you're trying to have a little room. <laughs> men are supposed to stand up, men are trying to stand up, and look like the two are we are match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, again, that's what... What about guys that wear skirts? Because <laughs> that's what people do now, isn't it? No, my man can't put on no skirt. You're mad. Me and him, him me a tip cut off that half five. I'm not coming to the house and all that. <laughs> but, uh, no. What hairstyle? Um, I'm not picky on hairstyles to be honest. But um, I don't really. I don't think I would read um date a, a rasta man. Why? They're the funniest. I know they're the funniest, but mm -mm, I think when I really date a Rasta man. But I like guys with, with ball head and I like plaits, you know, the cane roll go back and stuff like that, but not Rasta. The thing about cane rolls, yeah, I don't watch guys. I used to have cane rolls as well, yeah, but I had to realise that like, guys that are in proper senior, proper jobs, they don't really have cane rolls. Like, I've never seen a cane roll doctor before. No. I've never seen a lawyer with cane rolls, isn't it? Mm hmm So that's what kind of stuck me. Like, it's like a, not a grown man thing, but... Mm. It's kind of status kind of thing, isn't it? That's me personally, isn't it? Yeah. I guess it's, you know, they're trying to fit in in a, um, look, it look professional, because I guess if they have the plaits, they're going to look like a little bit um, rough, you know? Mm. But I don't, once it's neat and tidy, it's, it's, it's cool. 
Do you think there's a shortage of good men? I, I, I would say, um, yeah, most of the good men's are taken. You really believe that, honestly? Yeah, I think most good men's are taken. Okay. I'm surprised you said that, because me, in terms of females, June is my best month. June? Yeah, June. It's my best month for the whole year. Mm -hmm. The reason why, because girls graduate from university, isn't it? So that's more <laughs> girls being legal, isn't it? So there's a whole new team coming, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the right nephew. Oh, no. No, we're not going to It's true. So if I mess up for the whole the whole year, mm -hmm. cool, June's approaching. So this is a whole new team. I can say the same lyrics again for a whole new batch of females, isn't no, it? No, men, men is, is, is short because you've got a lot of men that are in prison. You've got a lot of men that's, you know, drop out, you know, dead. You know, so yeah, there is a shortage on men. Have you ever tried online dating before? Pardon? Online dating? No, I've never. No thought about it? No, I wouldn't online date, no. Seriously? Mm -mm. No. The reason why I say that, because I think you're limiting yourself, because you host events, in it, yeah. But these are just like yachty parties, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you're not really going to meet a, a Nigerian guy, or Ghanaian man, or a Polish man, or a Romanian man. Well, yeah, that's true, because I'm, I'm, I mean, I do go to other clubs, you know. I go to clubs in the city and stuff, you know, when it was open. So it's not like I just, I, just, I don't just do um, Jamaican okay, rave. I even go to... Um, like Turkish clubs and is stuff it? like that, yeah. Okay. I do, but I don't know. I just feel like I don't know. I, I, me myself, I just feel like these men are afraid to approach Jamaican girls. You know what it is? Yeah, I'll be honest with you, because I feel like that as well. Mm -hmm. It's the stush face. It's the what? The push up face. Push up face. Yeah. Well, I chew you know, because enough time people will see me at the party and say, "Come to you, you can't smile." <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, I'm fine, nothing is wrong. But, you know, sometimes we don't even know that we're doing it. Yeah, no, my, okay, my friend says that. Well, that's just my normal face, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I, but it's just my normal face. But I'm thinking, like, why is Are you not that traumatized? Or was it at home really that bad for you to have that kind of face? Or <laughs> I'm just asking, like, I, I mean, I'm trying to dig holes, isn't it? No, no, it's just how we are. It's, it's you know? Mm. Okay, what's your favorite Jamaican dish, then? Dish? Yeah. I love steamed fish. <laughs> seafood. Seafood. No, seriously. Yeah, mm -hmm. Seafood is it for me. I love my fish and I love my prawns and I love my lobster. After that, no, it's the curry goat. Goat as well. <laughs> really What's your favorite? My, I'm a chicken guy, isn't it? So chicken, Ugh, curry chicken. <laughs> That's what I cooked today, you know, curry chicken. Can I some? Yeah. Way okay. But me, I'm... Not that typical black guy, so I don't eat festivals, I don't eat dumplings, I don't eat no seafood, I don't eat curry goat, I don't eat watermelon, I don't eat mango, I don't eat cassava, I don't eat grapefruit. I don't, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm proper like English, English. that's what so I'm saying. What do you eat? Woolies. What? Woolies, chicken oh, chips. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so easy to please when it comes to food, yeah. Woolies, I'm cool with Woolies. No, you need to get a Jamaican girl in your life. You know, that's what it, you know, that is, that's my kryptonite. Mm. Like that's my weakness. In, in, drink, Jamaican girls, my weakness. I don't know what it is. Yeah, they're my weakness. Like mm. my downfall, more my heartbreaks with Jamaican girls. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because when I see these the videos of Jamaican girls dancing, isn't it, I expect that in the bedroom, isn't it? You're scared. <laughs> You're scared. I'm not scared. Me. No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. But when I see them dancing on the dance floor, Jamaican girls, yeah, on the dancing, it, I'm expect that in the bedroom, isn't it? Yeah, but that's how we are. Just like what you see in other dancers, so we perform in the bedroom. Nah. You, can, you would love it, trust me. I took, if I go to, I said to my friend, if I go to Jamaica, I'll get arrested. Because <laughs> I'll just misbehave out there. I'll just misbehave. I'll just have no filter. I'll just misbehave in it. I do really want to go to Jamaica, honestly. Yeah. But I need to go with someone that knows Jamaica, innit? Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be more fun. But I need to go out there for like a month because I want to see everything in Jamaica. Me and we link up. Yeah. That's right to hear, innit? Yeah. Do you know what Brick Jam is? Have you heard yeah. of Brick Jam? Yeah, I've heard of Brick Jam. Have you been before? You, you no, been? I've never been before. Oh, okay, then. The reason being is because of the time in the summer. Mm. I, I, I don't. I went to Jamaica one summer and I didn't enjoy it. It was too hot. And too felt, hot? Yeah, it's really hot down there in the summer. England's too cold in the summer. Nah, man. I, <laughs> I, I, I'll stay in, in the summer in, in England and enjoy the summer because when it's cold, that's the time I want to leave. Hey, what? Yes, I can't drink. What's the, the temperature? That's the only reason why I've never been to, been to Bit Drum because of the time it keeps. It's too hot in Jamaica. I can't take the heat. What's the temperature in Jamaica in the summertime? 
I don't know, but it's really, really hot. I would go to the hairdressers, right, and I'll put curls in my hair. And by a walk out the salon, my ear is straight. <laughs> That's how hot it is. I have to bathe like three, four times a day, and I'm bathing in cold water. Hey. Okay. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I have problems with Jamaicans, yeah, is the food, isn't it? In the mm. UK, isn't it? Yeah. The price. <laughs> no man, come on. The price is not that bad. Miss, when the when the pandemic here, yeah? listen yeah. to what I'm saying. If I've got five pounds, yeah, the Jamaican meal is not five pounds. It's gonna be like seven pounds plus, isn't it? I can go to a chicken chip shop, yeah, get two pound fifty chicken and chips, yeah, and wings, mm-hmm. have two pound fifty change, and go to Jamaican pot and get a Magnum bottle, and I'm good in it. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> No, mama. You, you you have a. Sp- you know what? Yeah, remember remember that it's coming all the way from Jamaica, so they it's it's a bit expensive. So well, the meat's to- coming from Jamaica. No, I mean like the the food, the hard food and stuff like that. Okay. And seasoning. Some of them use the, the the Jamaican seasoning as well. You know, so they have to charge. I hear that, but again, when the pandemic, not everyone's got money like that. But in the pandemic, everybody was charging. <laughs> Everybody was charging. <laughs> Have you ever sold food on the side before? Like, had your own like, food catering business then? No, but um, my ex-partner, we, we used to have this fish fry. Okay. Yeah, so we, 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 we did it at a restaurant where we have a fish fry every Friday. Mm. Yeah. Okay, miss. There's a restaurant, I might not know heard of it, it's called Turtle Bay. Yeah. You heard of it before? Yeah, I've heard of it. Okay, the owners, they're not Jamaican, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I heard. And but I heard, I heard the food is rubbish. Yes. I just want, do you feel a type of way? The owner's not being Jamaican, but the outlook is supposed to be Jamaican cuisine, isn't it? Yeah, I feel a way because they're imitating us. I've never tried their food before. I was going to try it and I was advised not to because it's horrible. But I told myself that I am going to try it one day. The cocktails are good, but the yeah, food is yeah. not good. Yeah, the, the food cocktails are good. No. I've, I've had the cocktail before. But the food is bad. Mm-hmm. I just want to know, from your perspective, that, that do you feel a couple of way about that? Just yeah, from the I culture. do, because they're, they're imitating us, so I do feel a way about that. No, I don't think that's right. Mm. And then, you know, you're putting a, a bad name on us, because some people who don't really know that you're not originally from Jamaica and will go there, have the food, and say it's horrible. You know, that's giving us a bad reputation. So in terms of food, then, like, say some... Visit London, they want to try Jamaican food. Where would you recommend it? Um, because it's closed down now, but you St. Bolt restaurant was really good. Where was that? It was in the city. Why did that close down then? Um, it closed, I don't know why, you know, but his food was really good. Um, right now, I would say, um, hmm, there is this this in um, in Croydon, um, Thirteenth. Um, oh my God, what's Dutchies. that? No, not Dutchies. Um, Denny's? Oh, my God. What's the name again? Fun he, fun he, fun he. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. It's, it's real proper Jamaican food. It's really... And their cocktails. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> their cocktails are wicked. <laughs> Have you had a bad date before then? Pardon? Have you had, a, like, a terrible date? Like, a bad date? It was just everything just went wrong? Yeah, I did. Like, recently? <laughs> okay. First of all... <laughs> <laughs> the guy picked me up in MKR. Man, look a piece of care. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 Miss Pools, yes. We need some backstory. How did you meet this guy? Um, how did we meet? Was at a party. Okay. Yeah, we met at a party. He approached you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we exchanged numbers. I started, you know, talking to him on WhatsApp. You know, trying to mm. get to know him. We went on a date. At Yasso. Okay. <laughs> Did you know what car he had before you picked her up? No, I didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. Do you remember what car it was? I didn't really mind the car still. It was just a little car. I don't really remember the, the type of car. But the thing was, when I went in the car, it was dirty. <laughs> it had all sorts of clothes, football. <laughs> when I, went, I wanted to come back out, but me and someone wanted it look too bad. So I said, let me just go on the date and done. <laughs> but I didn't have the car smell Wait, wait, bad. hold on, wait. So from the car, you was done from that? Yeah, there was no coming back. The there was seven no coming back. Yeah, it's a tumor love my belly. Tumor love my belly. I said, I'm going to go eat that food, my belly, and come back on me. Oh, <laughs> this is why I don't trust girls, you know. This is why, you know. You sh- <laughs> 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 oh. I have a wave right now. <laughs> 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 From Mr. the care, 
you know, it's a turn off. Uh-huh. And then when we go inside the car, it's so dirty and it smells bad. I said, Jesus Christ, I could wait for come outside the car. So anyway, we went on a date. Where did he take you then? Huh? Where did he take you? I took him to Yasso. You took him? Yeah, because I tell us that first date, me I choose a place. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. took him there and, you know, I ordered a steamed fish, he ordered a fried fish. <laughs> then, <laughs> when, when the food come now, why you never tell me for order a steamed fish? Because it looks better than a fried fish and then him start eating out of my plate. He was eat. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did he order? A fry fish. And you ordered steam fish? I ordered steam, he ordered fried. So, so he ate his food and your food? No, he was like, why I didn't tell him to order the steam? Because the steam is better than a fry. And then him start eating out of my plate. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Marlon, yeah? Appreciate that, Marlon, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, let me heart me, I say. Mm-hmm. But you know, you have to play it cool. <laughs> so uh-huh. we shared. You know, I had some of his, he had some of mine. But okay, then, did you want to share? To be honest, I didn't mind sharing. Okay, then. I know, I didn't mind sharing. But then I'm a person, I always play in my hair. I'm trying not to right now. <laughs> 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 and then this boy was like, You can't stop playing in your hair. Why are you playing in your hair? You know? And I was like, It's just a hobby for me. Mm. You know, so that pissed me off as well. Because okay. he was like, you're yeah, playing your hair too much. Okay. I just couldn't wait to, to finish eat and go. You see, as him, as him dropped me home, my lot even said bye. I just come out of the car and gone and delete him number and block him. Hey! Was this recently? No, it's not recently. It's uh, uh, maybe about... It's years ago. Maybe about... Five years ago. And be honest, ago. Monsieur, have you seen him since? Yeah, I have. <laughs> I have. Yes. I have seen him in parties. <laughs> I have seen And he, he, he come up to me. He come up to me yes. and talk to me. And I'm just like, yeah, hi. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Marlon. Have you been in a situation here where your girl's like in a relationship with a guy and you think he, she can do better? Yes. Have you told her that though? I get myself in a trouble for that. <laughs> <laughs> get myself in a trouble for that. So you know what? I learned to just stay out of it. Leave people to them own. Let them do their own thing, you know? Mm. Yeah. Would you say you're prideful? Um, yeah, I would say I'm prideful. But do you think that's your downfall to a certain extent? Mm-mm. Mm. No. Kay. You have to have pride. I hear that. Yeah, you have to. Social media, Instagram is nearly 10K. Pardon? Your Instagram is nearly 10K. If I'm not 10K? It's nearly 10K. Oh, it's nearly? Yeah, nearly oh, 10K. Yeah. You don't care about that? No, not really. You don't care about it? Okay. No. Oh, because some girls do, they do care about numbers, in it? Views, numbers, likes. Mm. You don't care about that? No, I don't care about that, no. The thing I care about is, you know, like people in your circle that mm. you're, you expect to get, get the love from and mm. you don't really get it from, that's what really gets to me sometimes. Okay. Also as well, like, I don't know if you know, they've officially said Rihanna's a billionaire now. Yeah. A lot of people might share that, isn't it? That's good. But would you feel a way where you got a birthday event coming up and they won't share that, but they will share Rihanna's thing, even though they don't know who she is? What? Even though they, they don't know, who, she don't know who they are? What, my friends? Yeah. Of course. Friends are supposed to support friends. Mm. I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. Okay. As you know, this show is called Tipsy Talk, yeah? Mm-hmm. So we need a drunken story from you. Oh, you need a what? A drunk story from you. A drunk? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you can drink some rave if you want. You can drink some more raves. Oh, my God. A drunk story. Yeah, but I have another drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Which one they can't remember now? I can't really remember a drunk story, right? There's so much. Well, do you smoke? I don't know if you've got a high story. Um, 
Wait a minute, let me try to remember. There's a good one. Let me try to remember. <laughs> Give me a Give, let me let me let it come to me. Um, can we talk about sex? Give it a PG version. Um. Because <laughs> I want to talk about intercourse as well. I'm not gonna lie to you, Michelle. Huh? I want to talk about intercourse as well. Yeah. I can, I, uh, the John came up with that for me when John can and I do it though. <laughs> <laughs> can I talk about that, didn't it? Oh my god. Um okay, yeah, I've got one. I remember one time I went on this um boat ride. London. Yes. Wait, with my friends. Um, white party. No, no, Jamaican rave oh, okay. on a boat party. You know, back in the days, I used to have a lot yeah, of boat yeah, parties. Yeah. And um, I, and I, like, I drink, and I was so drunk, and I was in my nice dress. Um, we went to an after party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it was a bit embarrassing because I was so drunk. But in the middle of the party, and I'm a nice dress, I dance, I'm on the floor, and I roll, and I carry on. And my friend, them have to pick me up off of the floor. And um, take me out of the party. When me I go, well, me I cuss everybody when me I pass. Hey. Everybody party. <laughs> Seriously, why? Because I was drunk. <laughs> Do you know what you drinking? What was you drinking? Um, I think it was Hennessy. Okay. Yeah, cause I don't drink Hennessy anymore because Hennessy and Cavalier it really messes me up. Devil's juice. Yeah, but I was cussing everybody when me pass. Okay, the funny one now. <laughs> my drink and junk can come in. I'm ready for action. I <laughs> 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 can't talk about this. For real. Talk, talk, you talk, miss. Okay, so me a girl. Me love exploring new things. What? what, what? <laughs> I love to explore and try yeah. new things. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had a balcony. I had a balcony, so I went out on the balcony. I mean, I go find my ex. You in your head top? I go find my head top. I wanted to go on my head top on the, the, the railing, the pool. <laughs> hey. You need to behave, Miss You know, you really need to behave. You need to relax. I'm in the job off. Hey, <laughs> hey. Pr- oh my god, no stop. <laughs> I catch him off and catch me. Who caught you? I'm a partner. <laughs> okay, at least there's someone that's sensible. Oh my god. Remember, next time again, um, I was in the city. Go for my head top. I mean, Wait, London City? Huh? London City? No. Oh, city. Oh, city. No, oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went on my head top in the sofa. My head stuck in the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Have you just come to the conclusion where head top's just not good for you then? No, I love my head top. <laughs> <laughs> so... The intercourse story. We want to hear about that. That's what we want to hear about, isn't it? The what? The intercourse story. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I'm playing. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Would you smoke though? You don't smoke. Yeah, I do. I don't. I smoke weed. Okay. Is yeah. that more like a relaxation thing or? Yeah, it's like um, you know when I go out and I feel the vibes and I want to burn a spliff, or mm. if I'm just chilling on the weekends. Yeah, I'll I'll have a burn a weed, but. I don't, I'm not a cigarette smoker, and I don't smoke every day. No. I don't like Just occasional. Smoke. So what else relaxes you then? What keeps you sane? What keeps you calm? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ray, <raise>, dangerous. <laughs> okay, this part of the show is called Praise and Raise. Mm-hmm. So we've ever done good for you this week or last week, we praise and raise them, isn't it? I'll start off first. First and foremost, I want to praise and raise yourself, actually. Come in, I appreciate this. I know you. you're very busy, so I appreciate this as well. Thank you. Uh, I just want to shout out to all the listeners out there, all the supporters, and I appreciate them as well. Obviously, there's more guests coming. More, same old, same old drunk stories. Drunk, Ava's coming. <laughs> more, yeah, more guests are coming out. Um, that's about it, really. Shout out to Ivan as well. Appreciate it for Ivan as well. 
Now, what are you miss? You in a pretty living race. Who's done good for you this week or last week? Um, I want to give a shout out to my nail technician. She did my nails, and I'm also the ambassador for um, Nikki's Beauty. You see my nails, them? <laughs> yeah, she, she fixed me up good. Uh -huh. I also want to give a shout out to um, Star Boutique London. I'm ambassador. A shout out to G. Eldermere Exclusive. She made me this lovely outfit mm. to come on the show. And I was like, girl, this Jeez, is too hey. much. And she's like, no, girl. Walk in trophy. Go and walk out. Walk yeah, out, miss. Walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out. Walk out. G. Eldermere Exclusive. Thank you so much for this outfit. Uh -huh. um, I want to shout out to Ricardo because Ricardo is the first person that I did music video with, here, with him. Mm. You know, he's the one. Um, if it, if I didn't go in that video, you know, maybe I wouldn't be here right now. So big up Ricardo Royal, um, big up Danny Bless. If it wasn't for Danny Bless, I wouldn't be in the acting. Mm. I want to big up also Magnum Friday Breads. Big up yourself. You know, if it wasn't for you, I, I would be hosting. I always want to well. go to Magnum Friday, you do. You hosted it? No, I always want to go to that. You always wanted to go. But oh. I was thinking like all the drinks is just Magnum. I don't just drink Magnum. No, no, no. Oh, okay, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay. No, all the drink is Magnum. No. Okay. Mm -mm. I always want to go to Magnum Friday. It's good. You should come. I, I think he's going to start it up back um, after the summer. All kidding. Yeah. We're taking a break right now. Um, I want to big a shout out to my three beautiful kids. I love you so much. Big up everybody on my life. Big up everybody on your life. <laughs> <laughs> and um, thank you so much for having me tonight. I'm so blessed. Remember, guys, go and follow Clarinda and Kirby First Lady. All of you um, artists. Book me for your music videos if you want a sexy diva. <laughs> and I also do acting as well. So any producers, movie producers on the live, hook me up. I'm not going to lie to you. People are saying they want to see you do a little dance move. Oh, really? Put that aside. No, go down there. Why go down there? Well, you can't do it by yourself. Huh? You can't just uh, like, no, we dance. You can't dance. You so, have to have music. Yeah, me have to hear music for that. <laughs> All right, after a break, we'll get some music. We'll have dance, yeah? Okay. On the flip okay. side now, yeah, we do mm -hmm. Name is Shame now, innit? Pardon? We do Name and Shame. Name and Shame. So whoever okay. stressed you out this week or last week, yeah, we Name and Shame them now, innit? Ooh. I'll start off, innit? I had a traumatizing experience, which you know. Yeah. I'm a guy, I've been honest, yeah, I've been peed on before. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, me have a disgusting laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my laugh as well. Yeah, it's calm, it's calm, it's calm. So I don't horrible. like my laugh either, but it makes us who we are. I've been peed on before, but I've never been number two on before. Mm -hmm. And it happened to me today. You've been peed on today? No, pooed, number two on. You've been pooed on yeah, today? Yeah, 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 your yeah. Your baby? Huh? Your, 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 your child? No, birds. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the bank today, innit, yeah? <laughs> Walking past you underneath a, a tree. I hear it. I'm thinking it's just rain, innit? <laughs> so I'm looking at my jacket. I'm not seeing no coloured liquid in it. I'm seeing different colours in it. I'm thinking, no, my gosh, Becky. <laughs> and then I tried to put my hood on. Wrong mistake there. It's full of food. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Oh, my gosh. But the thing is, I had to carry on what I was doing in it. So I was walking around on the with the thing on me, in it. Yeah. And Primark got screwed guards in it. So he gave me some weird look as well in it, yeah. <laughs> I've never shot so quick in my life yet, it's unbelievable yet. <laughs> Traumatised. If I had my BB gun, it would have been different, but yeah, man. Name me Shane the birds, man. Who else want to name me Shane? Uh, um, I think the weather as well, man. It's, summertime. it's August and it's like this. It's, it's August. Raining. Oh my God. Yeah. I want to see girls in maxi dresses and shorts, yeah, it? not jackets and... <laughs> May I said, no, Sam, I can't believe it's July and I have to be in jacket. That is August. What's happening? That's why I said to you, I think that we're going to have a long summer, you know. I think September, October is going to be very warm. I hope so. I want to see more dresses, more <laughs> shorts and that. That's what I like to see. So about you, Miss, you don't name me shape. Who stressed you out this week or last week? Uh, I'm not lying. This week has been a good week for me. Mm -hmm. No one has stressed me out. I was kids free, you know. Okay. Yeah, I was home enjoying my freedom. Okay. So this week was good. Um, last week, mm -mm. I don't have nobody to shame. I hear that. I hear that. Okay, okay. And we're gonna do have a quick break. Shout your socials. Where can we find you at? Social medias. Where people okay, find you. Okay, so you can find me on Clarinda and Curvy First Lady on Instagram. 
I don't really do Facebook, so just Instagram. But Mishi needs to jump. You know what? Yeah, Twitter. You blow from Twitter again. Twitter. I Twitter. Need, Jamaican Twitter. Yeah. I, need to, I really <laughs> need to do a Twitter account as well. But I, I, you know what? It's just I just think it's just too much. You know, all these different different social media. I yeah. don't think I can handle all of them. Because when I just started Facebook, I used to be on Facebook so much. Everyone was, yeah. Yeah, and then I just, I went on Snap. I was on Snap so much, and now Instagram. I'm just on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Tipsy Talk, Wave Wednesday, Champagne the Conversation, Band Before Bed. Here we go. Cheers! Let me make it be your best sex Put it all on me, every text set Bite me, let me just on my left breast Now feel vex, yes, yeah, feel text set Me have a chocolate, all of me want express So come on over, make with you, come make with Netflix I'm a put a little pretty icky necklace Now feel vex, yes, so 